What's going on, party people? Say, I got another uh, great video for you today. I've got uh, two deer and three antelope or pronghorn and a bobcat to do today. So stay tuned. Love you. All right, we got them all in there. I'm leaving out the skin in part just because YouTube doesn't like that. So, no skin in anymore. Oh well. Got them in pots. I have dish soap, some Dawn dish soap in the deer pot, but I don't put dish soap in the antelope pot because I haven't got the horns off yet. So, yeah, you don't put anything in the water if you're doing antelope or any horned animals at that, for that matter, until you get the horns off. Anyway, now we wait, get this thing boiling, get these horns off, and get to washing. Stay tuned. <laughs> y'all check this out so have these guys these antelope in here for a little bit and water water's getting warm so i'm gonna try to get these horns off i use these pretty sweet gloves i got them off amazon like 13 bucks but you can't feel the hot water drill so or the heat at all so we're gonna pull these things out even give these horns a twist and get them off just a slight twist is all you need. Oop, there's one. And there's two. Easy peasy. And then what you want to do after you get them out is there's a membrane underneath that horn. Just score that. Put a little cut all the way up that membrane. And that'll help it come off and boil. The other one out. Let's check this out. These guys are a little bigger. They might take a little more twist action to get them off. We'll give her a throw. Yep, there's one. And a number two. It's kind of awkward. Let me get the second one off trying to get it. Got a good position. 
hands. <laughs> there we go. Number two, easy peasy. Get that membrane scored real quick. This helps it kind of come off and boil a little easier. Just like so, put her back in the boil. And then I always spray these horns off. I always want to spray these things off. Get all that nasty stuff off of there. And if they're really nasty, you can use some dish soap, get it in there, scrub them out. Inside it out, just like so. We're gonna let them simmer. And then we'll be back with you once we get to spraying. These things have been uh, simmering for, I don't know, 20 minutes or so. I'm going to pull, start pulling them out and get squirting. There they are. Let's get it, dude. Woo! Cleaning's done. All right, I got these things clean. There's one right there sitting on the garage floor. I got everything else sitting in this nice bucket. I'm gonna get the antlers wrapped up so I don't whiten them, and then I'll uh, get to whitening. So I've kind of switched up my whitening chemical. I'm using Aqua Silk by GB, GLB. It's just like the other stuff. It's a it's a shock oxidizer for pools, but it's 27% peroxide. It, it costs a little more, but it's it's worth it. So if you can get your hands on some of that stuff, you won't be disappointed. So I'm gonna get these things in the whitening batch, and uh, and we'll go from there. Thanks for sticking around. Hey, just a quick tip for you. If you are using this stuff, make sure you wear gloves because if you get it on your fingers, I don't think you see that. See that? Kind of burn my fingers a little bit. Whatever, comes with the job. So, quick tip use this stuff. It's very strong, it's 27% peroxide. So, if you use it, wear gloves. I should have known. Whatever. 
get on with it. All right, y'all. It got dark on me. Now well, it's getting dark. Anyway, let's wrap this video up. We got the antelope here, looking pretty. Just gotta get the horns back on. The deer here. Look what came in a couple minutes ago. Oh boy! That's a big boy. I'm gonna get skinned on this guy, but anyway, appreciate you guys sticking around. Um, yeah, I love you, and just like always, do good things. Life short. Till next time. Peace.